all lay there, gremlins in the internet, but without further ado, we're going to reintroduce what this is all about, because you couldn't hear us before. This essentially is Sigma Sports YouTube Live, but featuring a grand tour game show using the medium of Jenga. Now, to explain a little bit more about what is going to be going on this evening, we made a nice little BT. Roll, BT. It's the Grand Tour Game Show with Lucy Manning, Stephen Matthews, and a whole bunch of amazing prizes. Ride packs from top nutritionist Named Sports with Team Astana bottles, Oakley flight jacket sunglasses, a Bellroy Classic backpack, a pair of Pirelli P0 Velo tires, an Asa cycling jersey. Here's how to win. We ask you to submit your Grand Tour related questions via the Sigma Sports social media channels. We've taken your questions and assigned a random number from one to 51. There's a corresponding Jenga piece for every number. Should your question cause the tower to collapse, you win a prize, it's that simple. But wait, that's not all. If you're watching live, there's still time to enter. Add your question to the live chat, be sure to include your social media handle, and you'll be added to the special YouTube live draw. We'll also be awarding spot prizes at random throughout the show. And now, here are your hosts, Luke Mantle and Mark Stevenson. Well, as you can see, it's going to be a cracking evenings or half an hour's entertainment at the very least. But first off, Lucy, I've never played Jenga before. Can you briefly explain it before we start the game? Because I'm a little bit kind of like, yeah, I kind of get maybe the idea, but... I can't believe you've ever played Jenga. No, I Let's, I just putting that out there. I don't even own a Jenga set, no, I'm afraid. Maybe you can keep this one. That'd be very nice. You can practice. Okay, so I have two main rules of Jenga. First one, you can't take any blocks uh, from the top three layers. Top three, yep. Yep. And then secondly, very important, once you put a finger on a block, yep. you have to go with that block. There's no turning back. No turning You're committed back. fully. Go with your gut feeling, okay. just go for it, fully commit. Okay. So it's not just about gut, it's surely there's some strategy involved because it's about keeping them upright as, as best as possible, isn't it? Yeah, we, we're trying not to knock this over, right. although if we do, our lovely audience, uh, people that have asked the questions will win a prize. And then okay. um, just reminding people that you can ask a question uh, throughout the show. Yeah, live, so live we'll be picking out some random questions. So yes. I encourage you to get in contact with us, ask us any questions with a grand tour theme, of yeah. course. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Do the first one so I can watch your expertise at play. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I don't know, I don't know which one to go for. We, we yeah. I need to put a little bit of pressure on you because okay. uh, otherwise you won't get any questions on. So no, no, no pressure at all. Do you know what? I'm going to start off things with going for number one. Number one, okay. Makes sense, doesn't it? I yeah, think. yeah, go for it. Oh, my hand's gone all wobbly. Yeah, I'm at number one. And we've got the question up on the screen. We'll ask that in a moment. You were trembling then, Luce. The Did pressure you see that? properly on. I'm a bit nervous for you, in fact. Well, there's the, shall I read the first one out? Yeah. Uh, it's from uh, Paul Ryan UK off Instagram. You have a choice of one snack. Mm. Snickers on the Stelvio. Aero Mint, exclamation mark, um, on Outdoors, or a star bar on the Sierra Nevada. Nearest the stars, I guess, very high up, Sierra Nevada. Which one would you take? Um, cool, blimey. Oh, crumbs. I think I'd go for a Mint Aero on Outdoors. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's the fresh mountain air, coupled with the mint, yeah. uh, coupled with the kind of bubbly chocolate goodness that I'd go for, I think. What about you? I think I'd have to agree with you. The, just the mintiness would yeah. just refresh you, you know, keep your legs turning. You're a bit younger than me. Have you ever had a star bar? No. Mmm, you're missing an absolute treat. Right, next up, other chocolate bars are available, of course. They sure go. Now, I can't use from the top. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for number 39. Oh, smooth. Look at that. It's like it's been lubricated. <laughs> Out it comes, number 39. There you go, you can read that one. Okay, so this is from Adam Kaisnam on YouTube. Uh, he's asking, with how close yet, uh, with how close, but yet how far, both Pino and Alaphilippe came to keeping the yellow jersey in its home nation, when will we see a next French winner of the tour? Keep up the great bids. Good question, actually. Quite a long one, um, but a very, very good question. It's a cracker, isn't it? Because have we really seen um, the full potential of Julian Alaphilippe. Will he kind of morph now into a Grand Tour contender? Because he's clearly, you think with the season he'd had leading up to it, no wonder he was exhausted near the back end. But with a season maybe focused on winning the Tour de France, you can't really put it, put it past him. I mean, he surpassed all expectations and entertained us all, of course, including the French. But difficult one. Um, and in relation to Pino, 
I think this was his year. Yeah. Although I still think, I mean, he's in the prime of his life. I think maybe next year again, but again, Egan Bernal is going to be a little bit stronger. Yep. I'll be perfectly honest with you. This is my view, Lucy. I can't see at the moment any other French riders in the next three or four years, apart from those two winning the Tour de France. Although a little tip, a little cheeky tip of the future, David Godou of FDJ, who yeah. rode really well, could be a tip, former winner of the Tour Lavenir. But um, yeah, um, who knows with Alaphilippe, Pino definitely, potentially, definitely potentially, it's not too much from Oxymoron, is it? But anyway, there, there's my answer anyway. Okay. Oh, it's my go again. Yeah, uh, you have to put that on the top. Oh, sorry, yeah. God, I did like a bit of semi Jenga. Oh. It's done, you're right. I don't get like disqualified or anything. No, like, no, I? that's okay, fine. That's and, fine. Right, okay, next up. Wow, okay. look at this. Uh, I'm going to go for number. Number nine. Number nine. Motorbike just pulling up outside. If you wonder what that was, it wasn't Lucy with a bit of wind. Um, so, next up. Okay, number nine. Cycling Jonesy, again off Instagram. The Tour de France stage that was shortened to 59Ks was exciting viewing. What do you think of all stages being shorter? Maybe not that short, but instead say 80Ks to get the mountain, to get to the mountain, just start at the bottom. What do you reckon, Lee? It definitely adds a different element of racing. Um, it was tried in the Tour a couple of years ago. They had it that was. really short oh, stage. The start last yeah, year, that was it? that was interesting and. Um, I don't know if it kind of had the effect that the organisers maybe wanted. It didn't. They all kind of just waited for each other and then it went. Was uh, squib. Yeah, um, but you know, the, with what happened at the end of this year's tour, obviously it wasn't necessarily the stage that people had hoped for, and that would have definitely brought on you know a different element. But it was kind of interesting to see the shorter stage, um, yeah. and if, if that's kind of organised, obviously it's more intense racing. From the gun, you know, everyone's... I think it opens it up. I think yeah. um, I think the shorter stages, uh, there are generally shorter stages, and there's not quite as many epic 200k yeah. plus stages. I think the 110k stage, 100k stages are great. But why not? Every now and again in the Giro, the Volta and sort of throw in a shorter stage. It, it was a shame it was curtailed, but I'm up for every now and again having a short, sharp stage in there just to mix things up, just for a different style of racing, yeah. just to give that extra kind of level of unpredictability. So I think it's a good thing, but, but not too often. Um, so, next up, um, this is when it gets a bit tactical now. Well, not tactical, it's also, you've got to kind of think about kind of structure and kind of um, physics, I guess. I'm going to go for 33. Oh. Oh. I don't have to stick my finger right through. I can use my other hand yeah. to remove the piece of wood from the other end, can't I? I'll, I'll let you have that. Oh, success. 33. Cool. Straight on the top. Nice. Oh. It's a random, is that a random generator? That was the, oh, that was the random generated gong forward slash bell, which means what? Because I've forgotten. What does it mean? It means they've won a prize. They've won a prize. <laughs> oh, I love that. And this is the prize okay, draw. Okay, this is the prize draw. Whoever thought it's of an actual draw from Ikea, that man over there needs a pay rise. It's an actual Ian, draw. Jason, if you're watching. Um, so we have a lot of special goodies in here, but the first prize of the evening is this Namid Sport ride pack and this uh, Astana bottle. So, Charlie, these are on the way to you. Thank you for your question. Do we, do we now answer that? Can we answer yeah. the question? Yeah. Well, no, hold on. It's a double whammy, Charlie. When you get the gifts, or the prizes, and you get me and Lucy to answer your question. Uh, how likely is it that De Koenig Quickstep will come back to next year's tour with a team mainly built around Julian Alaphilippe and protecting his interests? In winning the tour. That is a corker of a question that has been banded about a fair bit in the press recently. I think, has Alaphilippe had 13 or 14 wins this year? Something like that? It is, isn't it? 13 or 14 wins. Um, he couldn't maintain that level of form. I don't think it would have been natural. I think people would have been scratching their heads and asking questions had he not capitulated at the end of the tour. So the fact that he, that he did that, I think, was a good thing. It showed that he's human. Um, but I think the current quick step bought out Julian Alaphilippe for, for, for one reason, that was to win single day races. They, yeah. they, they had Enric Mass. I understand Enric Mass is going to be moving on to, I think he's going to be going to Movistar next year. Of course, he was third in the, the world last year, but I, d I don't know the answer to that one. It was certainly is going to give uh, Patrick Lefebvre and the rest of the team a hell of a lot to think about because they have somebody, because Julian Alaphilippe, just before the tour, sir, signed another two year contract, I think it was, with De Koenig. And I bet they're thinking, we can possibly win mm, the tour. Yeah. Uh, but again, it's going to be up to Julian because he's going to have to completely reconfigure and train in a different way, approach the Tour de France in a different way. So um, the answer is I don't know, but it certainly is an exciting prospect. Cool. 
I'm going to go straight up for ne number 22. Number, no, number 22 has already picked itself there, Liz, but it <laughs> means destiny. that the number six, it is, this is going to be precarious. Okay. Oh, she's, she's pulled it off. Incredible. It is getting... Pierce Broderick, again on Instagram. Um, what was your favourite moment of the tour, Matt? I'm going to ask that to you. Then I'll answer the only one as well, what, what I think about it. Uh, I mean, what a tour it was, like, yeah. definitely one of my favourite. All the lights gone, <laughs> adding extra drama. No sound at the beginning, no light halfway through. We're going to be fine, we're going to run on with this. Might be a bold related issue, who knows? <laughs> Perhaps we can rig up one of the bikes, one of the numerous bikes here to power it. But anyway, what was your favourite moment of the tour, Lucy? It's all of a sudden this got is very my, dramatic. This is my internet. Oh no, we've got the lights back up. Okay. Different form of lighting, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I think uh, I don't know. It's my so my good, I think so much good stuff in the tour this year, wasn't there? My alternative favourite moment of the tour. Oh, okay. So the racing was obviously was, yeah. amazing, but I think Peter Sagan signing that book of his nice uh, whilst moment. riding up a mountain was pretty special. Um, you know, yeah, I like that little touch. Okay, mine, and I'll keep it to racing because yeah. you did the kind of alternative one. I think. It was, do you know, it wasn't any one particular moment. It was just the way that Julian Alaphilippe rode the race. Yeah. He attacked it from the off. He rode with, and I've said this one was on yours, boy. He rode with a lot of flair, a lot of panache, a lot of verve. He kind of, it was a, I think we saw the birth of a new rider, basically. And, and also the way that he clung onto that yellow jersey day after day. He fought for it. Critics. We all thought it would go after just a few days and then... It was only three days to go, wasn't it, that he eventually, he eventually went. But it was just Julian Alaphilippe's tenacity, yep. determination and drive to hold on to yellow that was my favourite thing of this year's Tour de France. Egan Bernal, of course, won it. Wonderful, great CG in second place. But it was Alaphilippe that made the tour for me this year. Uh, so, my turn, isn't yep. it? Right. Um, how many questions have we had now? Does it, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, 19 I'm going to go for. I'm using my little finger here. Because this is, we're on shaky ground. Oh, it's still, this is, oh, this is very smooth. Oh, it's starting to move, it's starting at to the move top. a bit. Oh, we're still upright. Still upright. Incredible scenes here in Kingston upon Thames in Surrey. Oh, oh. it's a no, number. Number, I put 19 wrong out. So 19 wins a prize. Lucy, before we okay. ask the question from Malt Stevo, uh, what prize is uh, that man or that lady won? Okay, so I the. So they have won another oh, sport. Another Named sport. Coming out of our ears. Absolutely fantastic. Cool. And so will Steve after winning that prize. <laughs> so that'll be on the way to uh, you. Right, that's, that's cool. Thank you very much indeed for Named Sport for the latest prizes. Uh, without further ado, I think we better bring up, yeah. just knock it up again, get through some of this question. Will Chris Froome get back to full race fitness after his recent crash? I think he will. I think he's one incredibly driven athlete, individual. Um, he's going to have his team behind him and he wants to make history. He wants yep. that fifth Tour de France. So I think he will, yes. I think he will. I've seen that video of him running uh, one back on the bike already with one leg. It's Indeed. crazy. Like, I think he'll be determination. a force. To, I think he'll be a force to be reckoned with. Uh, uh, but you're going to be a force to be reckoned with if this collapses, Luce. Uh, the pressure's on you. I'm just going to back off so I'm not making the table wobble. It is a bit wobbly. Uh, I'm going to jump in with number 30. Oh, <laughs> Proper tension here. Oh, in Hampton Wick. I've never seen the like it. I've never experienced tension like it. Uh, Julius underscore Brot. Why is there no descending classament uh, for the quickest rider down the mountain? Um, funnily enough, we're discussing this thing oh, a little while ago, actually. And um, the Giro d'Italia, I think it was 2017 or 2018 on three or four selected mountain descents had a separate classification for the fastest rider down. And it, it was, there wasn't any jersey, but there was a separate classification and a prize. And the riders looked at it and the team management and said, this is just ridiculously dangerous. We can't yeah. encourage riders to go fast downhill. Uh, although riders do, but to have a competition would just be dangerous. So on one hand it would be, I guess it can be like Red Bull, wouldn't it? You'd have to get the riders kicked up in leathers and full face helmets and stuff. But on the other hand, the sport's kind of dangerous enough, yeah. and I think, so 
It's because of rider safety. I think, I think thank goodness there isn't a classification. Yeah, uh, yeah the Giro tried it and it was uh, given the massive thumbs down from the peloton. I agree. It's my turn, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Good luck. Good question, um, Julius, on the score, Brot. Uh, I'm going to go for number 42. It's a bit, this one needs to be like, oh, oh, he's done it. I don't know how you got away with that. I don't know how I did that. This uh, tower's getting taller and taller. Oh, oh it's a Scholar <laughs> Spot prize. Andrew Lord off YouTube. Uh, well, not off YouTube, might have his own channel. Who knows, it doesn't work for YouTube. Uh, it's just called Andrew Lord. What's his prize? Okay, so let's check the prize the draw. The prize draw. They have won. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, let's have, a look. let's have a little look at that. Be careful of the tower. Oh, oh yeah, Belroy has uh, given us this lovely Rucksack um, containing bags of space, zips, and fabric, and also some straps to tether it to your back. What a cracking prize! Brilliant stuff. So, how many grand tours do you think Bernal can win? Will he become the goat? Can somebody tell me what goat means? G gr uh, greatest of all time. Oh, the goat. It could be a mountain goat as well, though. Um, Many people think that he could become the greatest of all time, but that's a blimmin' tall order, isn't it? I he's mean, still young, is isn't he? That, but he's got the potential to, hasn't he? Yeah. I don't know whether he will, because I kind of want him to succeed. He's a lovely lad. He's got the best, arguably the best Grand Tour team. Not arguably, they are the, yeah. the, the best team around him for Grand Tour success. Uh, the environment, he's, he's won one already. Um, Maybe is the answer. What do you think, Luce? Yeah, time will tell, I it's think. It's just, I think, time it's, will tell, but what a yeah, start. Yeah. What a start. That guy is like, an amazing, an amazing talent. We haven't, the tower hasn't fallen. We're nearly halfway through it's, the show. This is amazing. My, Lose the pressure, he's on. I don't know whether you need to go for something a bit lower down or higher up. I, Do I you know what? Know. I've never, I've I never might, something like it. I might go for something on the bottom. Okay, you're going to take a big gamble. Number 21. Whoa! Oh. You, you've touched it. You've got, to, know, you've got, to, you've got to do it. While you're... I think this was a mistake. You're... <laughs> the other one's coming up, but I've already touched this though. You can't touch it. That's one of the rules that I am aware of from just... watching documentaries on Jenga, on the history channel. Oh, it's an explosion of junk woodenness. Oh, that means that Dash Kunjins has won a prize. <laughs> um, so Dash Kunjins, well, oh, they're, they're everywhere. There's wood everywhere. It's in the hair so all over the place. Um, they have oh, won. What, they won? This lovely Assos jersey. Oh, we'll okay. contact you about your size. This is a women's specific one, but obviously you can have the appropriate one. If you're a man, um, you can have a man's one. Yeah, yeah. No worries. So thanks to Assos for this prize. This will be on its way to you. That's a lovely jersey. Uh, I won't, you it, can get it out. Do you want to read the question yeah. while I get it out? Because it's nice to give. Uh, We've to got um, show... Dan, our Jenga building expert, just to get in the game back up. That's nice. That is a very, very modern design. Very, very it's pretty loud, game. isn't it? It is pretty loud. So, so uh, the next question is, is Alaphilippe the rider that can win the Tour of Flanders and the Tour de France in the same year? I think out of the current crop of riders, oh, there's, there's only a, I think there's only a couple. There's Geraint Thomas, you know, he's won GP3, he's been, in, he's been up there in Flanders before, but again, he's changed his programme around. But in the same year, um, I think, yeah, I think of the current crop of riders, should Julian Alaphilippe pursue a program that had the Tour of Flanders in it, because he doesn't think he's driven He's a bit, he's quite light, remember, Julian Alaphilippe. I think he's only 68 kg. He's quite a light rider to win Flanders, but of the current crop of riders, so I was looking at the wrong camera, the current crop of riders, I think he has the, he's the only rider that I think can win both those races, that, those races at the moment, I think, definitely. It's a good question. Cool. Oh, you know, he's, he's coming, some of these numbers are upside down. Oh, what's he playing I at? I don't think we It's a good to... effort, but... Oh, half the numbers are upside down, Dan. What are you, what are you playing sorry, at? I'll, I'll but, but you're under pressure. You're under I'll pressure there, so fair, fair play to you, mate. Fair play to you. So, should we have another... Oh, who's going is it now? It's mine, isn't it? Yeah, does that I mean it's 1-0 it to me? How does this work? Um, yeah, let's, let's call it 1-0 <laughs> to Matt. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're going to rattle through some more of these, because loads... Thanks, by the way of you, all of you got in contact. We've been overwhelmed with questions, it's been cracking. Yep. So we really do thank you for bearing with us tonight with that shaky start and for getting any questions. But I'm gonna go for number 16. Have we done that one before? We haven't, have we? 16? Why do you think Ineos didn't push Thomas to win this year rather than Bernal? And that's from Thissy84 on Instagram. 
It's too, What's do, you want, do, you want, do you want to make girl answer now? Because I've actually, this was quite <laughs> grippy. Um, it's not as You're well a bit of a oiled situation. As a, yeah, right? I can't. I can't help through. you, I'm afraid. Um, why do you think in Aston Villa? Uh, number 16, so yeah. Um, I guess it was just, you know, they had both of their leaders there ready for, you know, depending on the situation. Obviously, um, you know, with what happened on that very decisive stage of the, of, of the tour, uh, you know, they were both up there and, you know, Bernal winning was a result for Ineos. And, you know, obviously Geraint was coming in second place. He, you know, still showed his strength, but in the end, you know, it's a result for Ineos, I think. Yeah, I, 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 we could we could talk about this all day long. It's quite an interesting, an, inc- an interesting question, an interesting kind of situation that arose because they they started the tour with, with two with two clear leaders. I think in the end, it was a it's a matter of do you know what? Which not really talked too much about this, but what rider took the initiative as well? And there are obviously conversations had on the road, and Ineos were going to say it's the best rider on the road. Uh, you know, Thomas put two, over two minutes into into Bernal in the in the individual time trial. Yeah. But I think in terms of taking the initiative on the road on the climbs, Bernal did. Yeah. And, and of course, Geraint lost time on uh, on the Tourmalet, uh, and then the initiative was taken by Bernal on the stage to Val Torrens, which uh, which a team, sorry, which eventually w- was cancelled. But um, who knows? Geraint might might have jumped across it on on the climb the other the other side, and we could have had a different race. But I, I don't think. Ineos didn't push Thomas. I just yeah. don't think the way the race just unfolded, pan, I think it's just out. how it panned out. Yeah. It wasn't going to be Geraint's tour, and it was Egan Bernal's. Yeah. That's, that's kind of my view, really. Cool. So turn? now it's my go again. I'm not allowed to help you. I'm not allowed to read. No, so if, that's... It, if it turns around, you can't. We've got to just go with the way it is. It's a completely different setup to the previous. Maybe because the numbers are upside down and the nap of the wood has changed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Completely I turn this game around. I'm going to go have a little word with, uh, down one afterwards. over your side, number, f- this one, 45, I think. 45, okay. Uh, it's pretty... Are you used to, you're allowed to use two fingers at one time, aren't you? Because you're using a di- differing techniques. I'm just going to go with that. <sighs> okay, number 45. 45. It's a YouTube question. Oh, okay. So let me just check A little the... bit late with the klaxon there, but the YouTube <laughs> bell did actually sound. It's a bell, not a klaxon, but uh, a YouTube question. Let me just check. So we have had a couple of questions come in. Um, let's go with what was your favourite stage to watch this year? And that's from Andy Kylon. My favourite stage to watch. Um, cool. And this is a prize, by the way. Yeah. Oh, there's a prize. You're going to get a prize for this. Uh, it, would it, yeah. You have one. Some more. It's more a, another, another, another ride pack from Namad Sport. Yeah. We're so going to start on a bottle. Um, there were 21 stages on this year's tour. Well, 20, 20, 20 and a half if you count the stage that was cut short. My favourite stage to watch was Tourmalet. Great stage. It was great to see uh, Thibaut Pina win that stage. And he proved that he was the strongest climber up to that point. And it's just the epicness. The Tourmalet is a mighty climb. One of the highest, well, not the highest point of the tour, but so much, there's so much history associated with that climb and the crowds right in force. I rode the other, other side up uh, on my Brompton actually, nearly missed the finish because I, I kind of miscalculated the height of the climb. Uh, but no, I think for me it was the Tourmalet stage. Um, at the, just everything about it was kind of epic and grand and it's, a, it, the kind of, it's what a big Grand Tour stage or Tour de France stage should be all about. Yep. And, um, yeah, great, great atmosphere up there. Cool. Oh, it's my turn now, isn't it? Yeah. I was looking to you, <laughs> but it's my turn. Right. Still the one nil to me, by the way. Right, um, thirty-one. Oh God, I think I've this. Mm. Can I use? Can I? I can use two fingers, can't I? I'm just gonna say that you can, for the purpose of this game. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need, we need the Jenny King, Kogan, Dan Kogan to come and uh, mix. He, he's, look, he's jogging. He's got special clothing on. Um, <laughs> special. Yeah, uh, so, so I answered the question. Oh, they win a prize, don't they? Oh, yeah. Livertox, you want a prize? It's another corking prize. Just, oh, it's a, pair, oh, it's a pair of P0s, Pirelli tyres. I've got a pair of these on my new Cervelo S5. Yeah. And they are a cracking, not be funny, but they're a cracking bit of kit. 25C as well for comfort and grip. Uh, and I tell you what, you could use this box to put your pants in or your socks. <laughs> Or, or inner tubes, anything. Keep the boxes, keep the tyres. Um, what a cracking prize. And it's not just one, 
Two tyres, one for the front, one for the back. Wonderful prize. Perfect. Hit <laughs> myself with a chin with a pair of tyres. And there's a question of that. Uh, can real Stevens muggle me? Oh, so, <laughs> I thought that was... So, can real Stevens smuggle me into the Vuelta this year? Uh, depend if there's serious money on the table, we can talk. Just DM me. Okay, I better help because we're losing time. I thought there was going to be more of an answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, because it's, it's slightly, well, slightly illegal, isn't it? Smuggling people Easy into the world. So, uh, I don't want to get my accreditation taken away. Um, but oh, we can talk. We can talk. But no you guarantees. So no guarantees. Like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's getting a bit wonky. It's a bit, a bit more ragged each time down. But great, great work, mate. Great work. Under pressure. Under pressure. We, we only have one more prize left to give away, and I Do think we? it is the best one of the evening. <laughs> Some, uh, it depends on your view, doesn't it, well, on things? Yeah. I think all prizes have been good, but this is kind of a crescendo in terms of prizes, isn't it? Yeah. So we have some rather special Oakley flight jackets. Oh, so I just, do you want to model them or shall I model them? Uh, I'll let you. Model. Okay. Wow, look at that. Be safe, be seen. You can also wear them upside down for a show of the old Dennis Taylor. <laughs> Um, but no, the best for cycling and, and other, other pursuits. Okay, so the next person uh, to win a prize will win these. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, who, who, who will that be? Uh, we'll find knows? out. Let's just find out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Is it my turn or your turn? Uh, it's your turn. My turn. Because you knocked it over, so we're one all. One all. Okay. So we get to get this, this could go down to penalties. A fresh, a fresh slate. Uh, I'm going to go with number five. Oh, I don't think oh, that will. Oh, it's a bit tight, isn't it, Luce? Go on, just... Oh, oh it's that, it's that person! That wasn't fixed. Oh. That actually happened in real life. I saw it. Um, number five. I'm going. House underscore at underscore go underscore go on Instagram again. <laughs> if you could change one thing about the tour, what would it be? That's a good question. A very good question. Well, these are yours, by the way, House of Go-Go. Please get in contact with all your details and we'll wing these across to you using uh, some rapid form of postage. <laughs> There we go. I feel like I've got so much screen time. Uh, one thing I can change about the tour. As, a, as somebody's been on the tour, yeah. maybe change less transfers, but then it's really difficult to get around the country. Then, yeah. then the stage would have to be longer. Because back in the day, in the early 1900s, the tour, I think, only had six stages, but each stage was about 450 Ks or something stupid. And it just didn't, didn't used to go into the mountain. It used to go around the edge of France before the mountains were used later on. But I haven't answered the question, have I? It is um, the Tour of France, and they have to... It's a flipping good point. The Grand Boucle, as, as it's known. Um, what, if you change one thing about the Tour, uh, it would be to have a women's Tour running concurrently, I think, um, at the same time. Back in... I know, that, I know there's, there's arguments for and against there's logistics and stuff, but I, I think to have a women's tour de France, even if it wasn't for the full three weeks, yeah. but for like the mid section or the last section, mirroring like three quarters of the stages, yeah. finishing in the same place would be would be great as, yeah. as something to build towards. I think yeah. I think the tour's great. It's, it's ne no grand tour's ever perfect. They yeah. kind of remodify, but I think to have a women's tour running alongside yeah. uh, at some point in the future. Um, Built up over, over time would be wonderful. Yeah, no, I have to agree with you. Get like, my own in the same way. Yeah, right. yeah, it's um, yeah, that's my my opinion as well. Massively, it would be great to see that in the future. Indeed, indeed. So, is that it? Um, or because or we're just going to play for fun now, and then people can just go home if they want. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just check uh, what we're doing for time. Should we take a couple more questions? Let's We've got five more, more minutes. So, yeah, that's all the prizes gone, but we will still answer as many questions I've, as we I've can. Got a look. If I knock the Jenga thing over, or whatever you call it, when it collapses, yeah. we haven't run out, we've run out of prizes, I'm going to donate a prize of my own. Okay. A pair of signed Matt Stevens socks. Okay. Okay? I've got some nice socks that are that they're still in the packet, which I will sign, and I'll post them on to you. Clean socks? Uh, they're clean. Good. I do always keep a fresh batch of Matt Stevens socks. I'm not actually Matt Stevens socks, I just own them. <laughs> Right, uh, next up, uh, 30, have we done 33 yet? Uh, can we just check if we've done 33? No, we haven't done 51, Luce, I'm going for 51. Okay, 51, there we are. It's in the Tour de France, number 51, as of 1986, was the most successful number for winning the race overall. That's a I really old stat. I don't think 51's going to win this. Oh, I've touched it now, I've got to go. Yeah. 
It's really, somebody, gl- Dan, did you glue this on? I c- right, can I wiggle it? I can! No. Oh, he <laughs> pulls it back from the brink. That is top Jenga right there. How is your first game of Jenga going? I'm, I just not be fine. I'm just, I'm, actually, I'm loving it. It's such an exciting pursuit. Okay. Question 51 is from Tricyclist. Uh, we've seen team sizes reduced, TTs changed, and we've had a great combative Tour de France this year. What else could the UCI do to balance the Grand Tours? Ooh, that is a good question. Mm. I don't think the t- team size should be reduced anymore, but if they were, yeah. I'd like to see other teams encouraged to ride as well. I mean, because um, yeah. there was talk of the sport, of the UCI, next year reducing the amount of world tour teams oh really and in fact they're increasing them because i think reducing them would, would just have a negative impact i yeah. think that was generally the consensus um but i think maybe if if, it, if they wanted to decrease the teams to seven but i think that would be difficult i don't know it's a tough one what is the question again <laughs> what could the uci do to balance the grand tours well the uci's job i think to balance the grand tours i think they're fine as they are yeah i really do think that uh, i think rider safety should always be something they constantly look at yeah should never rest on their laurels um i think try and maybe as we said before shorten some of the stages maybe there has to be an you know a limit in terms of the amount of kilometers that the each grand tour has set amount of k's for example and then the organizers work within that yeah although that might be slightly controversial bear in mind i'm thinking on my feet here but i think the one thing the uci should do in conjunction with teams is really invest and I said it again, but I think it's important is to invest in the women's side of things. Yeah. Um, in terms of the Grand Tours, we have already have a Giro Rosa. We yeah. don't. We have a one-day um, uh, uh, Walter race um, uh, for the, for women as well. Yeah. But let's try and get stage races um, and running concurrently with the Grand yeah. Tours. I think that's what the UCI should do. I know there's a working party, but I think that would be the main objective. Yeah. But also rider safety always should be at the forefront of um, of the minds as a priority. Cool. Perfect. I don't know how you've managed that, to look, do this, that but is I think exceptionally shaky. I think Although I'm not, I'm not. I reckon 44 was a good bet. I think 44, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not. But it's up to you. I'm not going to go with 44. I'm going to go with a just lower, to be, just to a be lower contrary, number. Just to be contrary. I'm going to go with 38. Oh, oh. 38, okay, well, I think we're getting some signals back there. It doesn't matter. I think you're getting advice from the sidelines. Oh, yeah, have we already had that? Yeah, there's illegal coaching going on there. Oh, no, I have uh, to pick another block. No, you've already touched that one with two oh. fingers. And that, that, that's you're fully committed now. You're in and you, there's no turning back. Should we just leave it here? We should have cameras this other side because that's exciting what you're doing right there. <laughs> just. Oh! Okay. Blimey! Oh, did you put. Oh, 38. Well, there you go. Uh, Whoa, what a cracking handle. FRH underscore 2408. And it's a prize! Uh, so these win my socks, don't they? Yeah. These win a pair of my, of my socks. Better go and buy some, wouldn't I, from uh, Asda? Or probably from, from TK Maxx. Oh no, or from Sigma. I have my own money. Uh, is there, is there, has been, has there been a case where the, their electronic group set ran out of battery? Worst case, run out of them at the bottom of the climb with the heaviest gear from the climb. I think I know what that person means, but thanks for getting in contact. Two years ago, do you remember uh, Rigoberto Aran? Oh, yeah. His gears, the battery ran out, or there was at least a problem with the gear. He kept it, he managed to keep it on the big ring. It was um, 53.11, didn't he? He won the stage. The Mavic Neutral Service had to give him a little hand, hang out the team car, yeah. and it fiddled with it. And then, they yeah. must have locked it out, but he managed to, keep, basically, for the last couple of Ks, apparently it was at a stage where Dan Martin and Richie Port fell off. Uh, he was in a group with Roman Bardet, Chris Froome was in there as well. I think it was about four or five of them. I think uh, it was almost a photo f- uh, finish with um, Bar-Gee. Warren Bardagee. Thanks so much indeed. Uh, Bardagee thought he'd won, but in yeah. the end, Rigoboto around and won it. Just went very, very long, 53-11. Uh, it wasn't at the bottom of the climb. Generally, if that happens at the bottom of the climb, you've got to get on a spare bike, basically. Yeah. But he, he managed to, there was no time to change it. So that was one. Look it up. I think you'll find it on YouTube. Yeah, there's definitely you clips. Find it. But that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Cool. Let's, so, let's do one more, shall we? One more, just for fun. Because yeah. this is fun. I've had a cracking, I've, I've properly had a cracking time. It's I really, been good really fun. have. Uh, questions, Jenga, tension, prizes, uh, just wonderful stuff. It's what the internet was built for. Um, right. 12. Mm. Oh, no, no, I've touched it, but I've been told that was an illegal move. 44! <laughs> I'm going for 44! Oh, it's still upright! And it's a YouTube question. There's a, is there another prize for that? Oh, no, I'm going to run out of money. Um, okay, YouTube well, question from who? Gilmore sucks. 
More socks. I've got, I've got a couple of pairs of socks. There's going to be a couple. Okay, oh, let yeah. me check let for a uh, YouTube question. I'm going to stick with sort of paper postage. I'm in. Okay, this is from uh, Nick Jones Drums on uh, his leftist Instagram handle. Will the race organisers ever change the rules on sock length? Sock topic. Uh, Nick Jones Drums is a mate of mine, actually. Oh. He's a good, he's a good mate. He was a, he's a, a, a drummer for Heavy Stereo in the 90s. Nice. Oh, and he, he plays for the Jim Jones Review as well. Look him up. Great band. Lovely lad. Lives in Paris. Um, what's the question? <laughs> Will the race organisers ever change the rules on sock length? It's not the race organisers have anything to do with it. It's the UCI that actually have a special pair of calipers to measure the length of a sock. I saw pictures the other now, day. Now, many riders now aren't, aren't using cotton socks like with a normal weave, as you can see here. They're kind of aero socks. Now, the longer the sock, the more aero gain there is. So they're basically putting the kibosh on aero gains by limiting the size of the sock. Now, I can't remember how many centimetres it is, but it's above the ankle bone. Uh, but, for example, if you're a little person, like, um, what's his name, uh, Nari Quintana, he's diminutive in stature, I think he can get away with a slightly longer sock, so almost yeah. up to his knee, although that might be a falsehood, I'm not too sure. But there are limits, but it's not set by the race organiser, it's set by the Union Cycliste International. Cool, so, yeah. Um, and thanks that's, Nick for getting in contact, see you soon mate. That's all we have time for today, unfortunately. I'll probably give Nick a pair of socks to save postage actually, it's going to see him. <laughs> thanks. Thank goodness for that. Um, yeah, thank you so much to everyone that's joined us. Uh, we have loved having so many questions to pick from. Cool, I'm really it? sorry if we didn't get to pick yours, but um, yeah, maybe we'll have to do this again. We will, we'll probably just spend, well, another couple of hours just playing this. We'll maybe get a curry, take out curry and just yeah. play Jenga for the rest of the night. But no, thanks as ever, as Lucy said, thanks so much for... Uh, Find the questions at us live on YouTube and also on social media beforehand. And we will be having another YouTube live very, very soon. Thanks again for watching and make sure you subscribe to Sigma Sports YouTube channel as well so you don't miss any videos. Yeah. Nice one.